guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part two of an Amazon series try on. Part one was all bathing suits. If you missed that video, I'll be sure to leave it up here in the cards, also down below in the description box. Today's video is just a tiny bit different than that because I'm going to be showing you guys winter fashion. That's everything from jeans, to dresses, to sweaters, to cardigans, to you name it, I pretty much am probably trying it on in this haul. You guys, there's a lot of items in this haul, so go grab a drink, go grab a snack. You need to have something to keep you fueled during this thing, okay? Today's video is also in collaboration with my friend Justine, and she is amazing. You guys will love her. She is such a sweetheart. She's just... She's awesome. And I found her on YouTube one day when I was like searching hauls and thinking of titles I could name my videos. I found her videos, stumbled across them, immediately had to follow her on Instagram. And we've been friends since. I love her so much. And I asked if she wanted to collab with me on this video. And she said, yes. So if you're a plus size lady and you get frustrated with my videos sometimes because I kind of fall in between regular size and plus size sometimes, please go follow Justine and don't forget to watch her video. She's a size 26, so the options that she's going to have for her Amazon try-on are gonna be a little bit different than mine, and I think it's gonna be really cool to see um, how our styles are similar, how they're different, and see all the awesome finds that she's able to find. Because finding things on Amazon, it's a little bit tricky. So let's actually pause this video for a second because I want to tell you guys how I find the things that I find on Amazon. So because I've had to learn the hard way with some items and I've also found items that I absolutely love, I figured it'd be fun to share with you guys my tried and true tips for finding awesome finds on Amazon. Tip number one, it's all about the keywords. So what specific item are you looking for? Are you looking for dresses? Are you looking for jeans? Are you looking for shirts? Type that in when you are searching for your Amazon search. And if you are plus size, put in plus size sweater, plus size pants, plus size jeans. Sometimes they will pull up items that are not plus size. You just have to go on there and click it. You kind of just have to check. You have to check each one. It's still kind of a pain, but the more specific you can get with your keywords, the more results you're going to get. Second tip, you're going to get what Amazon features on their page the second that you type in something. So what you need to do is you need to go to the top right corner up here, and instead of clicking featured, you need to click average customer review. This is gonna show you the ones that have been rated and graded by people who have already bought the item and tried the item for themselves. So as you can see here, you can see how many reviews each one of these dresses has. 321, 472, 711. And you can see here that it has 711 reviews, but there's four and a half stars. So this dress is a piece that a lot of people are raving about. So I like to find items that are, you know, popular, have great reviews, but also functional, like items I know you guys will want to wear. Cause some of these are like wedding dresses, or just fancy dresses in general. And my last tip, this may seem super simple, but honestly, a lot of people skip this step. Once you click the item and you're able to read the reviews, read the first 20 reviews. And if you can, look at the reviews that have photos because the photos are gonna show you what it looks like on bodies that are similar to yours. So I hope that was a little bit helpful for you guys. Let me know if it was in the comments. I also hope that you guys are feeling inspired for today's haul. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. You are the stranger in the corner on the second floor. You're the girl next door, the girl next door. The stranger in the corner on the second floor. You're the girl next door. I know you're miles away from me. So I was a little hesitant with this shirt just because out of all the items that I read reviews on, this was the one that was the most iffy. There were some people that were complaining that it came up a little bit too high and didn't cover their stomach as much as they wanted to. And that was something that I was willing to deal with because I'm used to wearing crop tops and higher shirts. I am 5'4", 5'5 five 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 on a good day. And I feel like this is the perfect length for me. It fully covers my belly, as you can see. It even covers the back a little bit. Actually, if I pull it down all the way, it covers my whole entire butt. So that's really nice. But I saw this shirt and I knew I needed to try it on because I am all about this pearl kind of trend that's happening right now. Pearls are everywhere. They're on shirts, they're on headbands, they're on pants. Like, I love the look. So I love this shirt. Of course, there's different colors. So if you like the style of the shirt, but you're not digging this mustard color, 
definitely go and check out the item and see what other colors that they have. I was not anticipating myself to like it as much as I do, and now I'm like, crap, I'm gonna go broke during this haul, aren't I? So the pearls go all the way down the sleeve, even all the way to the back. This is beautiful. So I threw on these jeans, and these are actually the Lee Perfect Sculpting jeggings, I think they are, because they're not actually jeans. They don't zip up. That's nice. By the way, I'm trying to hide the tags here, but they're still sticking out, so that's what that is. These are like the maternity jeans, you know? The ones that just have like the band on them with no zipper. And it's been a hot minute since I tried on pants like these, and I actually prefer this more, I think, just because they tend to run a lot more stretchier than other jeans. And I knew that Lee was like a trusted brand that I could rely on. So that's what's awesome about Amazon is you can buy a lot of brands you already buy. You can get them cheaper on Amazon though because they're always running deals and promotions. So it's nice because you just throw those things in your cart, check in on them periodically and see if the price goes down. It always does, I swear. So I like these jeggings a lot. I think they're really cute. They do good things for the booty. Um, the only thing that's a little bit weird about them is the bottom. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is just like a, kind of a lot of fabric down on my ankle. And that is typically an issue for me, but I did get these in petite. These are an 18 petite. So I just assumed that there wouldn't be a whole lot of fabric on the bottom. I don't know if it's very noticeable or if it looks bad. You guys can let me know in the comments because I can't really see my full body this far away from the camera. But... You know, other than that, I do love the wash on these. And like I said, they're super comfortable and stretchy. These are definitely pants that you can do anything in. And just like with every good thing in life, there's always at least one fail. This is my fail today, ladies and gentlemen. This is a skirt, as you can see, and the zipper is all the way down at the bottom and it won't zip up at all. I'm not even gonna show you what's happening in the front here, but this was definitely a fail. I got this one an extra extra large, so I thought I'd be safe. And reading reviews, I was a tad confused. Didn't work. It's okay. We all have those moments. This is mine. I'm bombed because I had a whole outfit planned with this skirt. Moving on. All right. I'm showing you guys the first dress I got. I think this is my only long sleeve maxi dress that I bought. Pretty sure. I love this thing. Oh my gosh, I just ran into the wall. Let's not run into walls today, Shaylee. Let's try to get your whole body in frame. I can't even get my whole body in frame. There you go. <laughs> yeah, this dress is very thick and material. It feels like the perfect fall and winter dress because it's not like your typical really thin, cold dress. Obviously it has the long sleeves, that's always a plus. And I really love this tie in the front here. That is so flattering on busty girls. Um, and I think this would look even more amazing with a push-up bra. Get those girls together, you know what I'm saying? Get some things happening there. By the way, I do wear a strapless push-up bra from Torrid, and I will link it down below in the description box because I literally get asked every single video. It's always in the description box for you guys. It is my absolute favorite bra. Oh no, I'm noticing that there's a hole here. Okay, so I think that's probably just from like the way the material is folded. Let me see if I can fix that. Let's see. Yeah, it can be hidden if you just kind of like move the material around. I mean, I think it looks kind of cool, little keyhole there anyway. But yeah, this is the way it's supposed to look is like this. So yeah, this is really, really cute. So you guys can let me know if it's completely see-through. I don't feel like it is. This material is just really thick. It's very soft and it didn't smell weird when it came in either. <laughs> so that was interesting because sometimes the clothing smells a little weird. Um, I got this in a size 1X, which fits a 14 to 16. I had a feeling that it would run a little bit stretchy and it does. And I do know that this dress is under $30. I think it's $27. So this is like 100% worth it. I love this dress. This is the quality that you would find at a high end store. And not to mention, this dress does run in plus sizes. I think it goes all the way up to a 4X. So this is a specific dress made for curvy ladies. Thank you, Amazon, for having inclusivity. Can I get an amen? Because seriously, yeah, I'm really stoked about this dress and I think you guys should try it if you love it. So moving on to the next outfit combo. I saw these three on the website, had to try them all together. 
I have to say overall, I like the look. I like the look. I'm not usually a baggy shirt kind of person. I always like to do like a French tuck, you know, just a little, just a little tuckaroo. But there are tags on these jeans. You can probably see them. So I figured that would be annoying. But without the tags, that's what that would look like. See, I just think it's like a very slimming look when you, when you do that. But we can leave it out here and just show them off that way. Starting with the pants, these are Levi's. These are the mid-rise skinny jeans. And I have to say, I love the light wash. I love how it's even lighter throughout the knee as well and the leg. I like that look. I think it's cute. Um, butt, butt check. How's the butt looking? I can't see my butt. I'm sure it looks good because these are Levi's after all. Um, my only complaint is they are a tad bit uncomfortable. Now, it could be the tags that are on them because there's like several tags on them throughout here. That might be the issue. I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe I just need to size up. It's weird because I feel like they are my size. They don't feel too small. For some reason, it just feels a little uncomfortable up here. But I think it's one of those things where the more you wear them, the more they kind of stretch out and kind of like grow into your body. You know what I mean? Because I have that problem with jeans sometimes. I carry most of my weight here in my belly. And so sometimes it takes jeans a little bit of time to kind of like stretch out and accommodate that. So I got these in at 18 short, because I am short. And I really love the ankles on this one. This is exactly how fabric needs to be on ankles of shorter people. Moving on to the shirt. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell what this cardigan on, so I'll just take it off for a second. I'm pretty sure this is labeled as a sweater on Amazon, but I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like a very thin material. Maybe I should come up a little bit. Can you guys see my bra through there? I can see how thin it is when I look in the mirror. So I'm sure on camera, you're probably able to see that, but this is definitely like t-shirt material. This is not a sweater, but the print is really cute. I do love this print. There's so many ways that you could wear this. You could put this tucked in to a black skirt like I was gonna show you guys. Um, you could wear it with leggings, jeans. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not, just because I was anticipating a heavier material of shirt. Oh, look at this. These sleeves are adorable. I think I like it better now. I think they have like a few other colors too. I think they have like an all brown one with the leopard print. Um, you guys have to go check it out. But I knew I needed some kind of like fun animal print in here. I actually have two animal print items. This cardigan, I figured the brown and the shirt would look good with this cardigan. They are not the same color as you can see, but they're from the same color family. So it works. It works. Now, here's the thing with the cardigan. I saw it in the picture and it looks a lot more slouchy than it is in real life. Okay, so you guys can see the picture and this is how it falls on me. Maybe I got the wrong size. I was reading the reviews and it said that it runs a little bit large. So I made sure to stick with like a normal size of extra large because sometimes cardigans can like literally just drown me <laughs> in fabric and I didn't want that with this one, but I would be curious to see what would happen if I sized up on this. Would it be more slouchy? Would it come down a little bit further? Would it look more relaxed and less like this? I don't know. I'm just, I'm not loving the look of the cardigan and I'm super bummed about it because I was anticipating myself to really like this cardigan and it was not very cheap. So at least compared to the other items I'm trying on. So the cardigan's a no for me. But like I said before, if I would have sized up, I think it might have looked more slouchy and fun. This is like a hoodie dress, you know? I think I was going for sweater dress, but it looks like a hoodie and it's long and it even has the hood here that adjusts. Like, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this, but I'm kind of leaning toward, I love it. <laughs> I think I love it. Um, I would definitely size up. I got this in a size 1X once again. This is a plus brand of clothing. I think it goes all the way up to 4X or something. I would definitely like to try it in a 2X and see how that feels because it feels great everywhere and I feel like it's fine, but you know, there is a little bit of the, the tummy pooch here and I don't really typically mind that when I'm like out and about, 
But if I want to feel like 100% confident and secure when I wear this out, I probably would want just a little bit of a bigger size, maybe to make it more baggy and less, you know, constricting on my body. But like I said, I don't really feel it on my body or anything. It's not that. I love the back. I love how it makes it look like I actually have a butt. That's super nice. And the color, it's so good. So once again, they have all kinds of different colors. I know they have a black one and I was gonna try on black for you guys because I know black is like everyone's favorite color. Just imagine this with black. <laughs> you guys let me know what you think about this one. Do you like the hoodie dress? Do you like the style? Do you think it's cute? Cause I do. I think it's adorable. So here's the next outfit combination. I have these green skinny jean pants. Now these kind of look like cargos when I lift this up here and I see how the pockets are kind of structured and the way they look, they feel a little bit like cargo skinny jeans. I'm wondering if that's what they are and I accidentally ordered that, I'm not really sure. These are very thick material, so they're nice in that way. And they also have a very wide band here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they are very wide on the top. So if you'd like to have a lot of just band here to make sure everything stays in place, these are definitely the pants for you. I'm curious what these pants would look like with a shorter shirt. I don't know if the pockets would interfere with it. I can't really tell to be honest, but I really do like these jeans. I like the color and they are very comfortable and very stretchy. I got them in a size 18. They fit perfectly all as well there. I also love the ankles on these as well. See, they look good. And this is the shirt that I paired it with. This is obviously a long sleeve shirt. Now it does run a little bit thin as you guys can probably see. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it is a tad thin. I don't think it's like completely see-through or anything like that, but it does cling to the body. But I like the way that that looks on top here, you know, and then right here in the middle, it just kind of like flares out. It's like an A-line shirt. The only thing that's a little bit weird about this to me is how there's no buttons here. Now I'm not thinking that there should be buttons all the way up or anything, but it's just kind of weird how it just kind of like button, button, button gap. I don't know if it's just not like laying properly. See, I feel like you're looking like that, but I can't keep fixing it every five seconds. You know what I mean? But nothing a little like iron couldn't fix probably. If I ironed it down, it'd probably be fine. It's very comfortable. It's very lightweight. So I feel like it's one of those perfect shirts that you can take into any season. Even in the summertime, you could just like roll it up like so. There's just so many different ways and varieties that you could wear the shirt. So keeping the pants on, I have switched to this waffle knit top. I have ordered this top before. I remember doing it in a previous try on. I think it was last fall, like 2018. And I knew I wanted to get this top again because I remember a lot of people ordered it from that last try on haul and they loved it. It was like a crowd pleaser, if you will. So I knew I wanted to bring it back because I love waffle knit tops. I don't know about you. And in some stores, they are super expensive. It's crazy. So this is your cheap version from Amazon and it's just as good. It's just as cute. I'm adjusting it here to see if I can kind of change that. It's so cute. And then you can unbutton the top if that's your desire. They have all the colors, any color you could think of basically. But I wanted to get this color because I do like the red and green combination. It's not just the fall combination. It looks just as good for the winter time. Pair it with like a taupe cardigan or brown cardigan. And you know what's crazy? It smells like fresh laundry. It literally smells like it just came right out of the dryer. So I don't know how I should feel about that. Are they washing clothes now before they're sending them? I don't know. I'm not gonna complain about it. It smells really good. It's better than smelling like Chinese food, which has literally happened to me when I've ordered from Amazon before. All right, so I put the sculpting jeans back on and I'm trying to hide the tags underneath here, but I wanted to show you guys the sweater that I got. I'm actually really pleased with it. I like it a lot. I think it fits really well. I like the color. I love the design of it and I was expecting it to be a little bit tight but it actually fits perfectly. I still feel like there's a lot of room. I think it is this design and the way that it's made um, right here, you know how it just kind of like comes up like this, gives a lot of space in the belly if that's one of your problem areas like it is mine. 
I say problem area, it's not actually a problem area. It's just one of the more larger parts of my body and that's fine. But yeah, I really love this sweater. I think it's cute. This is also a really cute touch up here. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Really cute, very thick, high quality fabric. This was actually like vacuum sealed in plastic. <laughs> so I had to get a knife to cut it open. Um, it is just really good quality. I remember this being one of the more pricier options and there's a reason why, because the quality is there. It's an extra, extra large. I think that's as high as it goes, but I could be wrong. It would be much cuter if tags weren't hanging down from underneath it. But what are you gonna do? This is what I originally planned on pairing with that full leather skirt that I showed you guys, but the skirt didn't work out. Cause I think this shirt would be super cute tucked in to something, whether it's jeans or a skirt or whatever. I wish these jeans didn't have a tag in the front so we could try it out and see how it looks. But as you know, I love the tucked in look. If you don't like that look, you can just let it hang, let it rock. Uh, I have not even tried to deal with these sleeves. They have buttons on them, so I may not try to deal with them during this try on. I'm just gonna roll them up. This material is pretty thin, um, but once again, doesn't look like it's totally see-through or anything like that. It is snake skin, as you can see, and the top here does tie and untie. Whoop, so you can kind of choose how you want it to look on top. Maybe you want to do like a full bow look. Maybe you just kind of want to tie it, you know? It's totally up to you. I got this in a size extra, extra, extra large. So pretty much like the equivalent of a 3X. And I do feel like it fits perfectly. Not too small, not too big. It's just right. The last item was safely hung up in my closet. It's been in there for about a week because it was the first item that came. And it is this beautiful <sighs> shawl. It's like a shawl cape, hood, kimono, I don't know. You know, everybody has a different name for this, but I had to try it on because it is this beautiful blush color. Well then, let me fix it so it's the right way. <laughs> it's this beautiful blush color and it has pearls all the way down, from the top to the bottom. Now, I probably would not pair this with a long sleeve shirt just because you can see it. <laughs> I like it better with the short sleeve shirt, but you can really pair it any way that you want. Also, the pearls go all the way to the bottom, and there is some fringe on the bottom as well. Little bitty fringe, it's so beautiful. You see that? This feels like it's made out of suede. It's really soft. Um, this is great quality. You can just tell that this is like beautifully made. They have almost every color you can imagine. I chose this one because it's a neutral color, but still a color that I feel like can add beauty and softness to any outfit. And this is a one size. So yeah, guys, that wraps up that Amazon try on haul. Would you like to see another huge, massive one? Let me know because I seriously love creating these. I love just kind of scouring the website and seeing what I can find and what kind of outfits I can create. That's the stuff I live for, honestly. So let me know if you'd like to see more Amazon videos. Everything that you saw today is linked down below in the description box. And every time that you guys purchase something from me, just a heads up, I get like a very small percentage. It's like a dollar, sometimes two dollars. <laughs> it's nothing crazy or anything. But each time that you purchase from me with the links that I provide, I do get a small percentage. So I just wanna thank you in advance for buying from my links. And if you do buy something from this video, be sure to tag me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, I'm there sometimes. I would love to see these outfits on you guys. I would love to see you rocking these things, so definitely tag me. If you are brand new here, I hope that you subscribe and stay a little while. Let me know in the comments below what your absolute favorite item I tried on today was, and don't forget to go check out my friend Justine. There's so much to say today, but that's the most important. After you're done watching this video, go check out Justine's video. Go see what she tried on. I'm super curious to see her finds. I can't wait. Thanks so much for watching all the way until the end, and we'll see you guys in our next video. You are the stranger in the corner on the second floor. You're the girl next door. The girl